Hello, we are Geeks Assembled, and today I'm with Susan, um, and we are, we'll be discussing a 2017 remake of a miniseries from the 90s based on a Stephen King book. Of course, we are talking It, the story of um, a gang of children who come up against Pennywise, the dancing clown. Um, this is, uh, well, chapter one, shall we say, part one, um, which, and it's a very, it is a very long movie. So we'll have to, we'll have to review part two at some point. <laughs> at some point, yes. <laughs> um, yeah, the miniseries was the whole thing. This movie was like split into two. Um, yes, it's it, is it in based in Derry? I think it was. Yep. Uh, where children are going missing, um, and people don't seem to be really that bothered. Um, and Pennywise, a strange character, um, a different reimagining. From what we knew before, uh, from Tim Curry when he played him in the in the miniseries, um, this was played by um, Bill Skarsgård, um, and uh, for me, a great characterization and portrayal. But I will see what uh, Susan says. So, opening thoughts, Susan, on it. All right. Well, um, to be honest, I I hadn't. Uh... I hadn't watched the the '90s one in a long time. I don't think I I don't know if I ever actually watched the '90s one or if I only watched parts of it. Mm -hmm. So um, I I was coming at this from a, a sort of a newbie perspective, and um, I I thought it was a lot like Stand by Me, only a lot more you know. <laughs> A lot more bloody and violent. Uh, I thought it was it was incredibly, uh, really well put together and uh, plenty of uh, eeriness. Um, I was reading on Wikipedia, you know, uh, that that they uh, the in the book uh, the the group, the, the loser club all ends up having sex with Beverly. Well, <laughs> well, yeah, I know. It's like, it was. No wonder she, she know, it's no wonder she had a, made a name for herself in this. <laughs> yeah. So it was, um, so this was really different from the book, um, in a few really key areas. Um, and, but it was, uh, the story went really well uh, along the lines of trying to find the well house, trying to find the, the center of this, this uh, being's power. The fact that they'd all seen the clown, that they'd all seen the, the manifestation of this, this evil force, that it's stolen uh, uh, Bill's brother, Georgie, yeah. I mean, Bill. Bill was really well played. Um, in the book, they called him Stuttering Bill. That, that was that was his deal. Anyway, there there was a lot of uh, you know. Uh, they did a lot of like uh, sort of investigating and and research and then they and then they then they decided to take on this this pennywise the clown and then at the end they made a pact to after they took him on and and figured that they had defeated him um they took uh they made a blood pact to come back to uh to dairy if, if he ever raised his ugly head again mm. Which was good, which is something that kids will do, but apparently, um, I, you know, that 
that's basically where it ended is with that blood pack to the to, to come back so it was i mean it, it was it was framed well it was um it was capsule encapsulated by georgie and then this this blood pact and so <clears throat> you know they uh <clears throat> they really they really balance that well and then there was a i mean other than that it was incredibly good horror story and uh with a lot of little bits that they that they said um that they said through the through the story that they were that they were um that they were really dealing with something completely out of this world Mm. I mean, like from another dimension or something. Anyway, it was it was incredible. And so, what what were your opening thoughts? Well, well, sitting through it, because it is a long movie. Um, sit, sitting through this, especially when the the gang go into the house, I was just sat there and I was thinking, it's like the Hardy Boys. It was just, yeah. It's just, I just got the feel of the Hardy Boys sort of thing, um, just Cheers. investigating this and investigating that, but but with a little bit more blood and guts. Um, yeah, it's it's strange that it was only the kids could see Pennywise because he fed on their fear, didn't he? On the yeah. on the children's fear. Um, for making them float, you know, you'll you'll all float. Um, yeah, and the design. I mean, it's a totally different design, this Pennywise, to what was done in the past. Um, I know a lot of it's CGI, um, and some of it is prosthetics. So I don't think they overdid the CGI. To be honest, I thought they they, they got the balance right. Um, as I said, there was the zombie plague guy in, uh, chasing around the house. The the guy with um the guy with uh leprosy. Yeah, that was it. Leprosy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that was I, that, that was I think what that, was... that one kid was afraid of. He was afraid of disease. Yeah, yeah. He'd and that was dumb. raised. He'd been that raised by that mother. That that was all down to his mother's fault for feeding him placebos all the time. Yeah. Or, or as the young kid said as he faced the, the gazebos. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, what I did like about this was to have a, a cast of young actors. What, there must have been, what, 12-year-old to, what, 16-year-old? Yep. Um, to be in this sort of movie um because it's it's it it must be hard for them to to make a a horror movie involving kids of that age um and not to actually scare the wits out of them you know what i mean yeah (laughs) so they did a damn good job of of acting and also as well as not scaring scaring them witless (laughs) I, i know like 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 that like any of these these movies that that he does, that, uh, you know, with the kids, you, you just kind of wonder about that. Their yeah. the effect of doing the movie on the kids later on. Yeah, um, but I do like the idea of, of of Billy Bill determined to find Georgie. Yeah, you know, he he loved his brother that much. He wanted to find him, that he was building his own little miniature uh, sewer system, you know, to prove to his parents that George... So his dad, yeah. You know, and his dad wasn't that pleased. Um, it, yeah, the, the grown-ups seemed to um, just dismiss it all. Like Beverly's father with the, with the bathroom scene, with all that blood. So it from that scene you know Pennywise is only showing this stuff to the kids not yeah. the grown um, and 
don't get me started on Beverly's father because I think he's a oh, he was a right horrible. Right, right. It, it was it was like let, let like let me let me start on Beverly's father. Yeah, go on, yeah. <clears throat> you know, he 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 was all concerned about her doing adult things with with uh, the boys, but uh, in this in this movie, but in the you know, you got the you, you really got the in, the feeling that he was doing the adult things to her, like yeah. there was a, like 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 he was uh, he was abusing not he only was not only probably molesting her, but actually you know sexually violating her a lot, and she was just she had it, so she ended up like killing him, and and which was you know. Not not on purpose. He was just coming to attack her, and she was in the in the bathroom, and she grabbed the 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 seat of the or the 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 top of the toilet, and she yeah. hit him over the head with it, and he died. But um, Pennywise was not only just you know killing the kids, he, all all the adults that got in because of because of what he was doing to them to the kids. All these adults were, you know, losing their shit too. Well, yeah, but I mean, he got he he influenced. Um, oh, I can't remember the kid's name. The psych, the psychotic bully. Yeah. Uh, with, his, with his knife to go kill the sheriff. The sheriff was his dad, and yeah. 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 You know, kill, kill your dad. <laughs> but but if by killing the sheriff, you also kill the the only one of the only people who can actually do some good because yeah. oh my gosh it was just it was amazing it was like uh it was so intense yeah i mean the the, the the scenes in the house where you know the hardy boys the scenes in the house where they divided he divided them slam and, the door and then yeah. break the floor and then Divert Divide and conquer. Divide and conquer, exactly. Yeah. That was that that was really something amazing. Yeah, I mean, the, I mean, the special effects in this are brilliant. I mean, it is a dark movie, but as I said, that the use of Penny, the the, the face and the way, the one that scene where he comes out of the fridge and he's all twisted around and he's coming out and towards um, the kid laid on the floor. Yeah. That. that I mean that that could that could scare you shitless anyway if you happen to. <laughs> yeah. And like and like like that that was that was also down to you know the the thing the the thing like um like Indiana Jones like like even at the end you know if you protect yourself and go in a fridge hmm. you'll you'll survive even the onslaught of these kids. Yeah. 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 So, oh, so good. And then the the house itself was was amazing. And uh, again, another mansard roof, really great. Do you know, I was going to mention that. I thought yeah. I bet Susan will bring that up. Yeah, I I gotta tell you the the, the use of uh, of mansard roofs in in Stephen King is pretty pretty you know ubiquitous and and, it, and it's also ubiquitous in horror stories so it's just it's it's like it's one of my love languages i just wander around going oh look at that the top slope is so gentle and then there's that beautiful and then there's the little uh, the little nod oh my gosh it's beautiful yeah i, I really just, do love that architecture it it blows I saw, my mind. I, I, I saw that roof and i thought susan will be gushing <laughs> and 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 so I mean like the, they 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 built that house so beautifully and I mean even though it's all rickety and stuff it's still a beautiful home and uh and the, I mean they had you could tell it was a lot bigger on the inside than the outside because like they had hallways and not just short hallways but long hallways yeah <laughs> and and like that was you know it, it was like 
what was it the the dark shadows home it was so big up but but it didn't look big on the outside it was like but it was that big on the inside it was it was amazing it was like yeah it was like collinwood it was it was beautiful and like the other thing that was really something about uh about that house was that there was uh you go down in, into the basement and then there's that well and you can crawl you can crawl down the well and then you go to this other basement and this this sewer system and then there's a, yet another well that takes you even deeper which is where they push pennywise into and 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 then it's like it's like the sacramento airport with all those bags piled up as one of you know as an artistic piece all the way to the ceiling there were children's toys and children's items all piled up all the way to the ceiling and then there were then there were all these kids floating about i mean that 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 it, that cavern was huge mm. under the house i mean that that cavern must have been in another dimension because that, that was <laughs> There's no way that that was underneath the city and not have it come in. I mean, it was it was amazing. Yeah, it was. But I going back to something you said earlier about you know you got the uh, stand by me me feel about the movie. You 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 do. You 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 follow these kids on the, the was it a summer the school holidays, um, yeah. and. They're enjoying themselves. I mean, that scene where they're all uh, messing about in the water and having a laugh, and you, you get the feel that you know it's it just it's a, they're they're just friends together. They've got no worries in the world. The bullies aren't even anywhere near to be seen. And uh, I mean, that scene where they are just laid there, you know, in the in their underpants and that lot, just watching Beverly while she's sunbathing. It's so funny. <laughs> Just they're all that stood staring, you know, sat staring at with the mouths open. That <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and and the other thing is is that they were uh uh that that scene that they were that they were fighting that other gang of of thugs. Mm. Oh, with the stones. The older ones, yeah. Oh. The rock fight. Yeah. <laughs> rock war. And the one, the one. And they won, and then, and then because there were so many of them, and then there were, and the, and the other thing was that that one kid, uh, Stan, no, what's his name? Um, uh, have a look. Um. You had you had you had, um, you had Richie, you had Beverly, you had Bill, Eddie, uh, Stanley, Ben, and Mike. I guess it was Eddie who was uh, who was like Mister Potty Mouth, and he really knew how to swear. And so Eddie Eddie was the hypochondriac. He was the one with all oh, the okay. tabby. Um So who was the sweary one? Would it? I think that would be Richie, wouldn't it? The one with the glasses. Think thinks he's a comedian. You know, a, a, a comedian. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's right. The one who's in Stranger Things. Yeah, yeah. Finn Finn Wolf, Wolfhard. Yeah. He, uh, what are you gonna do? Talk to him? Talk yeah. to him. Yeah. I, I, that was great. But it's a great cast, great cast of young actors. And the um, way that the, 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 uh, Mike had to like learn how to shoot sheep. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's, it's so, in some respects, it's a coming of, age, coming of age movie, isn't it? Yeah. Because they're leaving school on, on school holidays and and they're making friendships. Um, I mean, you felt sorry for um, 
Ben, who, you know the 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 newbie, the new um, kid who was getting picked on. Yeah, especially when he gets cut by by their. Yeah. yeah. Um, but then, if that had never happened, he would never have met the other get, gang of kids. Right. So, but a big friendship that what is all formed in this movie. And they all brought something to the board against yeah. Pennywise. Every every actor and character had some equal opportunity in this movie to be at the forefront in the movie. Yeah. None of, none of, none of them were at the back. They were all at the forefront in the story. I mean, Stanley, Stanley the uh, other one who hated that um, painting in his, his father's study. With the, with the woman with the misshapen face. Yeah. That was, that was a bit weird. <laughs> and then she disappears and comes after him. But we all know it's everything, every character who was came after the kids was Pennywise in disguise. Right, right, right. You know, because you see it, you, there you see, you know, you see the woman going into the, the sewer, but then he, he pops his head around the corner again and goes back again. <laughs> <laughs> He's playing with them. Yeah. But I mean, also the Pennywise, when he, I don't know what it is, because it's not really explained in this movie. You know, when he opens his mouth and there's that light, and it's, uh, and, and there's Beverly just floating in the air. It's never really explained. Well, the, there's a, there's a thing that that they that um they talk about with with uh, um with uh, Stephen King stuff that's called the deadlights, and that's what that was supposed to be. And then the other thing was there was uh there was like the um. The ritual of Chud or Chud or whatever. That's also talked about in the book that I ended up doing a little bit of extra research on. And the dead lights are, are the lights that, that suck you in, that change you. All ah, right. And then sure. the, the ritual of Chud is what you're supposed to do to get rid of these uh, these creatures from that other dimension. And, and it's kind of... <clears throat> it is kind of uh, it's in the same universe as Dark Tower. Yeah. And and I don't know if you've ever, I, I I've never read Dark Tower and I've never I never read it, but apparently they're in the same universe. Right. I see. Well, I, I'm I'm i I'm, I'm, I mentioned in a cast before. I'm not a big reader of Stephen King books. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm more of a, um, a Clive Barker, um, James Herbert um, sort of guy. But yeah. um, I've tried, I've attempted, I've got halfway through some of Stephen King's books, but I just, I give up with it. <laughs> I don't, just give me, give me his movies. Just I'll watch his movies instead. Right. Um, but yeah, it's, and so for, I mean, this grossed, what did it gross? If you remember rightly. It was a hell of a lot. Where are we now? Oh. It grossed. 700, nearly $702 million. That's not bad. Not bad. $702 million. On a budget of thirty-five million. Oh wow! So they, really, so they really, really used uh, the the practical effects. Yeah, yeah. Was... I mean, I can't, I can't knock the effects in this. Um, yeah. She was just brilliant. The way the way Pennywise sort of like when he was dancing or when he's he's running at you, it's it's like he's coming at you from out of the screen. Yeah. It was just the way it was done, the way he's dancing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brilliantly done. Cam camera work on this is, is amazing. So, anything else you want to say about it? 
Um, yeah, uh, again, with the bathroom and the, yeah, yeah. the, the hair that she cuts off, coming back and grabbing her and holding her into the sink and then the explosion of blood it was like it was just like uh the the bathroom in uh it was like the 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 hotel hallway in in shining just or, or, or uh, like carrie or like carrie yeah with the blood with the blood yeah we gotta we gotta watch that next oh right where we at carrie <laughs> So, uh, and, and I'm really glad that they, that they kind of almost defeated uh, Pennywise. I think that that was really great is that these kids and getting together and being powerful together, you know, they defeated the, the gang and then they defeated the, the, the well, they did. They did defeat him. They didn't almost. They did defeat him. Um, but you got to realize what was said. He it, every twenty-seven years. Right, but the the important thing was, uh, is that they didn't they didn't actually cut him up or or disintegrate him or anything like that. He just kind of flopped into the. Yeah, uh, yeah, well, yeah, but he he, he all. He cracked up and flay, flay, faded and flaked away, didn't he? But then he sort of flopped over. Yeah. yeah. That's because he, they didn't fear him. If the fear if the fear isn't there, he can't exist. Right, right. Because so, it's the fear what feeds him. Yep. Which makes him more powerful. So anything else before we go to final saying score? Um, it looks like it, the it, the only uh, the only thing that that the director was known for is directing it one and it two, um, oh, and, and one, one called Mama. Ah, I'm just trying. So to... I mean, he this really created the the. It's basically the beginning of the the career for this this director. I think he's Argentinian. It says here. Yeah. Um, oh, he's doing. He's doing the Flash. Oh, Next. he is. Oh, nice. Yeah. He's done. He did Mama. He did it. It Chapter Two and Twenty Twenty Two. Next year, the Flash. Oh, cool. So yeah. So basically, it started the career for this guy, and he, he did really well. Yeah. Anyway, not bad for an untried director. No, um, not bad, yeah. 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 <laughs> and uh, yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for watching this with me. Uh, I was I, I, without a without an excuse, I probably never would have gotten to this. What? <laughs> no, I'm serious though. How dare you? This is Geeks Assembled. You don't need an excuse. You get told what to watch and you will do it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. So anyway, it was good. Uh, so that's really that's really all I have to say for, for it. Okay then. Well, in that case, then we'll we'll go to final say and score then, shall we? Yeah. Over to you, then, Susan. Um. So. Uh. Yeah, it was properly scary. It was really. It was really like. It was a coming of age story, like Lee said, and 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 not bad for the first movie that this that this guy directed, and uh, or the the second movie or whatever, and then uh, and then the the other thing was um. I'm glad they they addressed Georgie at the end and 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 kind of bookmark. I mean, I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean that was that. It was I sort of a parenthesis. Yeah, I mean that scene with George, and then because you you're not Georgie, bang. I mean that 
that must have been really for, for Billy to do that. Yeah. That was... Uh, that was that one, really hardcore. It was gut-wrenching. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so I'll give this... Uh, I'll give this nine red balloons out of ten. Oh. Well, yeah, it's... Uh, it is. It, it's... I, I think it's a modern classic, to be honest. It will go down as a modern classic. The um, it's a thrill ride. It doesn't drag. It it, it pulls you in. You fit. You you get to feel for the kids. You know. You you feel the pain. Um, you feel the fear of it. You know, from them as well. And then you get to see Pennywise. And wow, what a characterization that is. Um. So for me, I'm going to give it 10, Ooh. 10, 10 sewers full of grey water out of 10. <laughs> it's the grey water. Grey water. <laughs> yeah, so that's our little review of the 2017 version of It. Um, Susan, thanks for joining me talking about the movie um it's always a pleasure you guys out there to make it even more pleasurable for me come and join us you know we need some new faces um the old ones are, are still hanging about every now and again but we need some new fresh blood fresh blood um, <laughs> um so all we ask of you if you want to join us leave a message for any of us um Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, with there. Just leave a message under this video, or whatever. Um, just say, I'd like to join. All we ask is you're 18 plus, you have a working camera, microphone on a laptop, PC, uh, tablet, whatever, and you'll be you'll be good to go. Um, also, when you subscribe to our channel on YouTube, please remember to press the bell notification button because you'll get something like that every time we put up a new video it's usually two to three a week um could be <laughs> it could be a movie it could be a tv episode it could be audio dramas because me and Susan love our audio yeah. we really do we really do um so i think that's our little uh, review done and dusted Yep. There's anything else to say? So until next time, keep floating, guys. <laughs>